Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question from second chapter of the Merriam textbook question 50. And what we're going to do in today's video is that we're going to solve the question in the first part of the video. And in the second part, we're going to use ChatGPT. Let's just start with solving the video and we can analyze the response of the ChatGPT better using two different prompts, see what we get at the end. So we have elements of the lower arm as shown in the figure, the mass of the forearm is 2.3 kilogram and we can see the center of gravity for forearm point G in here. And we need to determine the combined moment about the elbow pivot O. So we have to find a moment about point O of two different forces. First, weight of the forearm. And second, the sphere that we can see in the figure. So uh, there's a second part in the question where the question is asking what must the bicep tension force be so that the overall moment about 0 0.0 is zero or you're in equilibrium so let's start with the first part of the equation where we need to find a moment of the the forearm and the sphere so we're looking for moment about 0, 0.0 we're going to call counterclockwise positive and we have two different moments we have obviously the moment of the forearm which uh, we have to figure it out so we're going to use the 2d shortcut that we have so this is at the line of action of the force and if we look at the figure we'll see that the uh the force are already in newton which is the weight or mass times acceleration of gravity which will be g or 9.81 meter per square second so uh, since we have the mass in the question, we have to multiply that by g in order to get the w, which at the end it will be Newton. So that's why all of these are multiplied by 9.81. So looking at the forearm, we see that the moment about 0.0 is in this direction, which is clockwise. So we have a negative sign. As I mentioned, the force is 2.3 times 9.81. So that's the w or the weight and the distance that we are interested in is the vertical distance to the line of action so this distance uh, which will be what we have from here to here we know this angle is 55 degrees and if we look at this right triangle the hypotenuse which is this side is 150 millimeters so basically 150 millimeter and we're going to divide it by a thousand to get it in meter times oh uh, we know this side will be sine of 55 uh, would give us the moment about 0, 0.0 and that's pretty much everything for the moment of the forearm so let's move on to the moment of the sphere so same thing the moment of the sphere is also in this direction which is clockwise so another negative moment so here negative the force is 3.6 times 9.81 again the weight of the sphere and the distance that we have this is the line of action from point o we have what we have from here to here which we know is 325 again millimeter we're going to divide it by a thousand to get it in meter and that way we can get our moment in newton meter unit so if we calculate this we'll get minus 14.25 newton meter and the negative sign in here shows uh, clockwise moment since we assume counterclockwise positive so that's the answer for the first part of the question 14.25 so let's move on to the second part of the equation where we need to find the, the tension so basically uh, some of all moments about 0, 0.0 has to be zero Again, counterclockwise positive, which is basically the moment of the forearm and sphere where we found was 14.25 plus the moment of the tension uh, in the biceps that, as we can see, that moment is in this direction, which is counterclockwise. So ha we have a positive sign, basically have T times the distance. So this is uh, the distance that we are looking for, or I should say the vertical distance, which from the question, let me clear the, the figure, it's, it's a bit messy now. So what we are interested in here is basically the distance from here to here, which from the question we know is 50 millimeters, so pretty easy to find 50 millimeter, again divided by 1000 in order to get it in meter. And this will be equal to zero, meaning T times 50 over 1000 or 0 0.05 is equal to 14.25 and if you calculate t in here 
we're gonna get 285 Newton which would be the answer for the second part of the question so that would be all for this one but let's go to the chat GPT and see what answer it's gonna give us and we'll go from there so I opened up chat GPT and I uh, basically attached the the question with the figure so I used two different prompts the first one is I just asked can you solve this question and let's we'll see what's the answer so it seems that the first step was going over the givens that we have in here which is the mass of forearm 2.3 so it tried to find the weight of the forearm which uh, we can see in the figure 2 so distance to the center of mass is 1 50 okay that that distance can be a little bit confusing because for finding the moment we need the vertical distance which will be actually 150 times uh, sign of 55 so like this seems a little bit but let's see where it goes with this so so it seems that it did the same thing for the sphere too again it found the weight and the distance okay this distance is correct because that's the 325 millimeter that we have but the other one is not the vertical distance or the distance that we are looking from point o to the line of action of the forearm but since we have the distance for this sphere okay the, this distance is actually correct but again but again i think it's because of the figure and the way we have the distances in the figure so calculate the moment so yeah that's what i was thinking so the distance that chat gpt is using for finding the moment of forearm is 0.15 which is not correct distance uh as i mentioned this has to be 0.15 times sine of 55 so that's not correct but the sphere is fine which we discussed okay in the third part is saying that the t acts on the angle 55 so the perpendicular component t sine of 55 contribute okay so yeah this tension of the moment of the t actually this is not where sine of 55 should be so okay it seems that there there is mistake in here and the answer does not seem very trustable and um, yeah so it has the t at the end of this solution approximately 362.9 which we found 285 newton so as we expected not the correct answer for so i tried to use another prompt see if i see any difference in the final answer so for this one i just asked i need help solving a 2d engineering mechanic problem about calculating the moment and i attached the photo so could you walk me through how to approach this and if possible provide a solution and if we look at the answer we'll see yeah we have pretty much the same thing and yeah we have that wrong distance here too no sign of 55 the angle so yeah not much difference everything's the same and yeah again that sign of 55 degrees for tension as opposed to moment of the forearm and here yeah it looks like that chat gpt doesn't seem trustable for this question but again this is my first try for for using chat gpt to find the answers for engineer mechanics question and actually this is not a very complicated question it's a simple to the moment question but i'll try more on like different question see it can be helpful i mean it's not like completely useless but like not much helpful in this one but i'll keep you updated in the next questions and we'll see if we can use look obviously JGPD is helping in a lot of things but in this case like at least not useful in this one well uh, let's see what happens in the next videos yeah that would be all for this one hope you guys find this helpful and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and let me know if you have any specific question in your mind feel free to drop it in a comment we're covering three textbooks in this channel so feel free to ask any questions about those and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one